Hi everyone, welcome to Redis Conference 2021. And today I'm going to talk about Redis Surge building modern applications with high speed performance. Today's agenda, I'm going to talk about use case and technical challenge that drove the need to explore Redis Search. What is Redis Search? What are the different features of Redis Search like indexing, querying, and aggregation? And in the end, I'm going to compare Redis Search with Elasticsearch and Solar. A brief introduction about myself. I'm Harish Katpalia. I'm working as a lead software engineer in Capital One. I have around 16 years of experience working in distributed application, and I'm passionate about microservices-based architecture, cloud computing, and learning about latest technologies. A brief introduction about my workplace. Capital One is an American bank holding company that specializes in credit cards, order loans, bank, and savings account. Many of you would have seen the What's in a Wallet commercial, and if you're a college basketball fan, you should have seen us there too. As I said, Capital One specializes in order loans, and the dealers submit the order loan applications to Capital One. These applications can be approved or declined depending upon the business rules and the policies. I'm working on an application called as Dealer Navigator, where the dealers can log in and view and structure the application. On the right-hand side is the architecture of a capability that the applications support, where the dealers can view all the applications submitted by them in a list form. This is a web client which talks to backend for frontend, which is called BFF, and the backend for frontend directly talks to the DB layer. The data is logged in slow, disk-based database that doesn't support superlative performance for a modern application. Before we discuss about Redis Search and its features, let's review the Redis data model. The Redis database contained keys and the key name makes up the namespace. Let's take the example of a user dataset. Each user in Redis is modeled as a hash. The hash contained various attributes like first name, last name, registered on, and country code. Each of this hash is accessed by a particular key like user colon profile colon user ID. When we request the data using a key, that request is a constant time operation. That means it's pretty fast. But what if we want to query on attributes other than the primary key? What if we want to query on attributes like last name or registered on? For that, we need secondary indexing. And that's the reason why we need Redis Search. Redis Search is the missing second indexing and query engine for Redis. This brings us to the definition of Redis Search, that it's an open source Redis module that provides features like indexing, querying, and aggregation. It is available on-premises as well as a managed service in the cloud. To understand how do we perform indexing and querying in Redis Search, let's compare it with how do we perform indexing and querying in a traditional database like Postgres. In Redis, we store the user data in hashes, and the hash has feeds like first name, last name, bio, registered on, and country code. We will create a similar table in Postgres with exactly the same columns like first name, last name, bio, and so on. Assume that we have loaded the data. Now, how do we perform indexes and queries on Postgres or Redis? In Postgres, we use SQL to query the data. But for the queries to be efficient, we need to create certain indexes. I will be creating indexes on my Redis data also before I can query it. The indexes specify that it applies to all the hashes whose key matches the prefix users colon profile colon, and I am specifying that I want to index five fields, which is first name, last name, bio, registered on, and the country code. Now we have created indexes and load the data. Let's perform some queries. Let's look for all the users on the basis of last name. In Postgres, we'll be using the select statement with the where clause. In the case of Redis, we'll be using the ft.search command, passing in the condition. Let's add one more condition to the query. Let's look for all the users on the basis of last name and the country of, Redis, or the country of residence. In the case of Postgres, we'll be using the add operator. In the case of Redis search, we'll be again using the ft.search command, passing in the two condition. Now let's throw in some Boolean logic to the query. 
Let's look for all the users on the basis of last, last name who either lives in UK or US. In the case of Postgres, we'll be using the R operator and the below screenshot shows the equivalent query in Redis. Now let's query on dates. Let's look for all the users who registered on a specific date. In the case of Postgres, again, we will use the select statement in the where clause. In the case of Redis search, when we query by date, we specify the date in the Unix timestamp format and we specify the lower and the upper bound of the timestamp. So for example, now, if we want to search for all the users who registered between two specific dates, in the case of Postgres, we use the between operator, whereas in the case of Redis search, we'll be specifying the upper and the lower bound depending upon the dates we want to query for. Some of these queries might return thousands of results, so we need to paginate them. In the case of Postgres, we use the order by clause with limit and offset. In the case of Redis search, we use sort by plus the field we need to sort by, and we pass the limit and the offset as arguments to the limit keyword. So as you saw, we can pretty much perform all the queries in Redis search as we can do with Postgres. What we cannot do in Redis search is we cannot perform something like joins. But the queries in Redis search are highly performant because the indexes are stored in memory. Now let's talk about aggregations. We have business analysts and the data analysts that generates and creates a lot of reports. In traditional databases, the reports were created using commands like sum, count, or average. Aggregations are a way to process the results of a search query, group them, sort them, and transform them to extract analytics insights from them. The basic idea of an aggregate query is to perform the query, extract the record, or you wish to, pro or you wish to process, and then we build a set of operations in the pipeline that contains one or more steps of grouping and reducing, where we group the fields in the result and then you apply reducer function on each group. You sort the result based on one or more fields. You apply some mathematical or transformation function on one or more fields. Then you limit the result set and in the end, you filter out the result set on the base of some predicates. In Redis search, the aggregation is performed using the command ft.aggregate. As you can see, this, this command or this query can go as long as you want and you can do one or more operations in the pipeline. Let's look at one of the examples. So let's suppose you want to create a report breaking down the number of users who registered per day for the last 30 days. In the case of Postgres, you can do it using the group by and the order by clause. In the case of Redis search, you can use the ft.aggregate command. Again, you would be specifying the date in the Unix timestamp format. Redis Search is a powerful indexing and querying engine, but it also serves the purpose of a search engine. Before we go into the details and see how we can perform a full text search in Redis Search, let's look at the fundamental of a search engine. The fundamental of a search engine is an index. An index takes a document, breaks into terms and properties, and stores them linking back to the document. This kind of structure is called an inverted index. An inverted index is a map of terms and words to the documents they appear in. For example, the inverted index of the term blue contains two records, each for one of the, one of the documents it, it appears in. The searching consists of loading, traversing, intersecting, and sorting the indexes to generate relevant results. Redis Search is a powerful text search engine built on top of Redis as a Redis module. Till now, the inverted index built on top of Redis were using native Redis data types like sorted, sorted sets. Redis Search uses its own highly optimized data structures and algorithms that provide for advanced search features with low memory footprint and high performance. So let's look at one of the examples. We will use the same index we have created before. And on the right hand side, you will see how we can do a full text search using Redis. We'll be using the ft.search command and this query searches for all the users whose, whose bio matches the term data engineer. Full text search uses a technique called stemming. 
Stemming is a technique of reducing a word to its stem or root form by converting the plural into singular or by reducing or by removing certain inflection types. For example, driver, drives and driving are all derived from the word drive. So if you search for driver, it will be reduced to its stem form drive and will also yield the results of drives and driving. The priority would be given to the exact inflection, inflection form, but the search results will also contain the results for other inflection, although they would be ranked lower. Redis Search uses the Snowball Stemming Library, which supports the stemming in 15 different languages. Now let's talk about scoring algorithm. In Redis Search, there is no automatic way to deduce the quality of a document. In fact, it's left to the user to provide a quality score for each index document. Each document added to the, to the Redis search will, is assigned a normalized rank between 0 and 1. But this document ranking is not enough. This document ranking is combined with TFIDF scoring of each word. TFIDF is short form of term frequency inverse document frequency. It's a numerical statistics that depicts how important a word is to a document. And it increases proportionately to the number of times a word appears in the document. Now let's compare the performance of Redis Search with Elasticsearch and Solar. As you can see, Redis Search has high throughput and low latency when we search for a two-word query like Barack Obama. Not only this, for, a, for things like an autocomplete feature, Redis Search emerges as a clear winner as far as throughput and latency is concerned. Redis Search has several client libraries written by module authors and community members. These libraries abstract the API in different programming languages. It's very easy to use these libraries instead to write raw Redis commands. Now, Redis Search has lab client libraries available in Python, Java, Go, JavaScript, Ruby, C hash. This is a quick uh, example of how we can perform query and aggregation in Java using the library. In Java, you can use query and aggregation builder to perform aggregates. So how do we enable a real-time experience in an application? So we, we swap the database with Redis Search. This has multiple benefits. We get the performance benefits of Redis Search, as well as we offload the production database and the read don't interfere with the writes. Redis Search, to summarize, Redis Search eliminates the performance bottlenecks by allowing users to index their database, to index their datasets, and then allowing querying and aggregate in a real-time manner. Redis Search ability to execute this query in some millisecond latency is truly a game changer. At the end, these are some of the resources if you want to learn more about Redis Search. This brings us to the end of presentation. Thank you.